Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a house building video once again. I absolutely love doing these. I, I like building houses. So. In result, I love filming these. <laughs> and I'm excited for y'all to see them. And I'm glad that y'all are, are enjoying them. So today we are doing another Mediterranean house. That's I, I'm in the little style right right now. I'll eventually change it up and do a modern house again. Um, or a Victorian. I don't know. I really like practicing my style so I can be more um, versatile and I can master some of the um, styles in the world. So this house is five bedrooms and six bathrooms, I believe. And ugh, that staircase was giving me so much trouble. <laughs> I look at it. I'm like, oh God. So yeah, this house has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, like I said, and I don't know, it's, I, I think it's easier for me to build big houses because I grew up around them and I know how to like laid out and like luxury is like an element of mine that I'm most comfortable, com oh my lord, <laughs> comfortable with. And so yeah, I've just done the exterior of this house today, um, but I'm really excited how this is going to how it's gonna turn out. It looks really cool. It's really, really pretty. Um, there's no custom content besides the roof. And if y'all want me to upload it, I will change the roof to a base game that looks good with this house. So yeah, if you want it to be uploaded, leave a comment, get, get a like in there, and I will see what I can do. The My, Sim, my Sims game is really acting up right now. Um, I have no idea why it's not letting me upload things. But once I figure that out, I will start uploading my houses again. Um, and I don't know why that that's happening. So, pff, I don't know. Technology baffles me. It really does. Anyways, the next uh, video, um, since I'm doing just the exterior of this house today, uh, the next video is going to be the interior of this house. Um, Palm Bush Gates. To be honest, I put that name in a random name generator and I really had no idea. It's really hard for me to come up with names for homes because I, I usually just do basic, basic ones. I was going to be like Green Acre or Beach View <laughs> or something like that. I had to move that room over because it wasn't even with the front and it was really driving me crazy. And not for the roof. Anyways, yeah, names are like quite difficult for me. Um, to come up with them and I'm just like, hmm, interesting. I'll just use a random name generator this time and it came up Palm Bush um, Estate or Gates, Gates? Uh, I think it's Gates. <clears throat> that roof is, <laughs> I was like, whoa, that roof is way too overhanging the front entrance. So um, the roof really transforms the build, I think. That's when you start to realize what you want and start to realize when, um, when the house is gonna look the way it does. Boom. Ugh, roofs people are so, like, get annoyed with, but I think they're super, super fun. They really bring out your um, patience <laughs> and your inner skill. And I just really find them really, really fun and entertaining to do, so. All right, so I've been checking my channel the last couple days and there's been some comments and I absolutely love it. Uh, I respond to pretty much every single one. Um, so don't be shy to leave a comment and give me suggestions of what to do next or, or something or another. I love chatting, love it. Yep, uh, screenshots are gonna be at the end of this video. So be ready for that. I'm really excited for y'all to see them. Uh, the, the waffles pack I use and I don't know just like the screenshots and it, it's a very elegant house so yeah uh, you can add me on Instagram that's in the uh, description and I have the exchange in the description as well so you can check out my other houses that I've done which I highly recommend um, I was thinking of redoing a house that I've done in the past and I'm really really excited about that because I was looking at the well, what one of the original houses I actually designed myself, not like renovating Sunset Valley houses, which I did for a good minute. And I restarted that um, about a year ago, and then I stopped. I did it like the police station, the art gallery, all that jazz. It was like, it was so fun. I, I really liked it. And then that's when I was like, hmm, I should just make my own town. So I did that. <laughs> you know, as one does in a weekend, I made my own town. It's not perfect. And I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm still working on it. Um, I'm building in it right now, 
I've done some community lots and some uh, houses. And if y'all want me to do like a tour of that or, um, I don't know, like, yeah, a tour. Was, I was trying to blend the cement for the driveway into the road, but that just doesn't work. So I skipped it. <laughs> it looks fine in the end, so. Alright, that's my spiel for the very hour. Uh, we'll get into the house now, shall we? Um, so yeah, five bedrooms, six baths. Uh, I got the pretty much the shape it's gonna turn out to be right here. It looks really, really good. I'm I'm really impressed with the shape of it. I'm really impressed. <laughs> I built this, but still. A lot of the houses I build, I scrap because I hate the way they turn out or I hate the way they look. I have this idea in my mind and I'm like, hmm. I usually get my ideas of my houses when I'm dreaming. I I had this dream once where I was in this attic and the attic was just so comfortable. It was so pretty, it was so beautiful. And I shaped a house around an attic. It was a big house, it was really pretty. Um, but yeah, the attic was absolutely beautiful and that's usually how I make my houses. Um, this house, I looked up the front on Google. I don't think I have the photo with me. I just looked at my phone and then discarded it. And that's where I got the inspiration from this. So it's a white house, has big windows, and that's just where I went from there. And the back of the house was kind of like a mirror of the front of the house, sort of, but a little different. Hmm, I just applied some chapstick because my lips were getting dry. And get a sip of my coffee. Hmm. Mm. Anyways, um, looking at this house right now, uh, what I notice is, well, these windows were incredibly annoying. So I was just like, I was hoping I could find one that's like small enough, but I didn't. So I just used move objects, move objects on and put some big windows in there that were a little different from the front ones. A trick of mine is not using the same window or same doors through the whole house. That makes it look really unrealistic because houses don't have the same windows. They all have different designs and different windows on the inside because the inside of the house is all different. Um, so yeah, that's a little, that's a little tip from the, um, yeah, adding more windows around the whole house. This house comes in around 286 just for the exterior. And I'm very, I wouldn't say detailed for the inside, but I like to make everything look like it should be there, even though it's sparsely furnished and that kind of thing. So, I, 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 I like to keep it um, cohesive as a build. And I've said it in the past, but still, I do. These columns, I was like, oh, those are wacky. So, there we are, I fixed that. So, the first floor of this house, um, it opens up into the hallway and that opens up to the uh, main living room and the uh, the formal living room, let me say. And then the, the um, oh, what's it called? The, the, the TV room, there we go. Um, and the kitchen is at, is at an angle, so that's gonna be a challenge. I'm really excited for that. I usually don't do kitchens and angles and this pool was giving me such a nightmare so I was like what the heck is happening the ground was being mad at me I was like oh shoot and then I tried to match this color with the sand eh, it, was, it was fine I don't know. matching colors are always irritating but I think I did it I don't know I might change it a little bit when I do the inside but we will see I haven't done the inside yet I'm recording this video. I've done some other videos. I took a break from this house because it was like it was so big and it took me like an hour and a half to do the exterior and it's gonna take me a good three hours to do the inside and I know that. So I'm probably not gonna film the whole thing. I'm gonna only do like a couple bedrooms and like the main parts of the house but if y'all want a part three of a, the whole thing um, I can do that but I don't know if I'm going to do that. Yeah, looking at the entire house right now, um, it's looking very elegant, very yummy. Look at how big that is from the, from the sky. It's at the end of the peninsula, and so my my mind, it's a uh, private community, and it's the biggest house at the end of the block. And here we are, finally getting into the 
new coloring of the house. I always like doing stucco because you can just cohesively add one color through the whole house and it doesn't look weird because it looks, that's the way stucco houses are usually constructed. Very little um, variety on the exterior of the house. And I think that makes it look really interesting. Really, really um, how do you say? <laughs> what am I the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. Yeah. I, th I changed the roof to the go-to roof I always do, the white trim with the black roof. <laughs> I think it looks good on really much, pretty much anything. Like, look at the back of that house. Ooh! And it's looking right onto the ocean. It's so exciting. I'm looking at the price right now. It's 162 I think. I can't really see that. My eyeballs deceive me all the time. No, no, no. Oh, the top floor. I was just there. That's where most of the bedrooms are. I think there's a bedroom on the lower level as well. There's no basement to this house. Um, I don't know if there should be. I don't know. I don't really live in tropical areas, but I don't know if they'd have basements or not. Um, I would have to look that up. But if they do have basements, generally in tropical areas, I will add a basement to this house. Since it's not on, on a foundation, um, I usually put houses on foundations, but I feel, well, maybe houses in tribal areas do have foundations. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to build a beautiful home, um, for my sims to live in eventually. Like I said in my other video, if you saw the starter, the current household starter home, this is going to be one of my houses I live in eventually. And I'm really, really excited to, um... Um, I don't know in the inside if it's gonna be like white everywhere or if it's gonna have like color or is it, it's gonna be dark. I don't really know yet. The outside is really really light so I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Let me leave what you think in the comments. I don't know if I should do like really light or really dark or in the middle or woods. I don't know. But I will figure it out. Um, please leave comments. See. Um, don't have any ideas. And here's I was changing the roofs again. Woo! Oh! See, I didn't mind that um, tiled roof, but yeah. Just finishing things some up on the inside. Removing some walls, and I think we might be almost done. And we might go right into screenshots, but um, we're now adding lights up the driveway so you can see where you're driving. Well, Sims 3 doesn't have driving animation, but I wish they did. That would be so cool. There should be a mod out there that lets you be able to drive up the driveway. That would make this place look so much cool. Could you imagine? Ooh. Yeah, so, um, lighting up the outsides and the inner porches. In this video, I think it's this video, I add a bar in the back that's like attached to the house. It looks really cool. This house is looking pretty. I'm really happy about this. Oh, recoloring the pool. I didn't even notice that I did that. Interesting. Alrighty, Dilly. Ugh, again, the loading times in this game is ridiculous. Oh, pfft. black pool. A neutral brown. <laughs> that's very me. I'm a very neutral person. I like adding color in the details, not the actual build. Because, yeah. I mean, who has a purple house, right? Actually, where I live, there is a purple house, and it's really, really annoying to look at. <laughs> every, every time I drive by it, I'm just like, yikes. When are they going to tear that down? When are they going to die inside? Not, not that I'm hoping for that, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, adding some exterior designs, and then we should be almost done. Um, yeah. Recoloring some lawn chairs. Oh, this is the bar. <laughs> I'm really happy about this part. I always like adding built-ins because, like, I feel like it's meant to be there. See how cool it looks? Oh my god! 
adding some chairs. And we're about done. Alrighty, we are into screenshots. Am I telling you how beautiful this house is? Look at it! I mean, oh, just different angles of the house. I've only done the exterior, so only exterior screenshots, but just like look at this house. Like the palm trees, just the warm colors, the back of the house, everything is just purposeful and beautiful. So much greenery. Why am I talking like this? I don't know, but it's just like, ah, it's so pretty. Anyways, I just wanted to thank you so much and like, comment, subscribe as the screen says. Thank you. See you next time.